Hello friends, uh, welcome to Geek Decoders YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how to use Sparkline visualization in Power BI to analyze the data. So if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel for more Power BI videos. So let's uh, go to the Power BI dashboard and see how we can use this Sparkline visualization in Power BI. Right, uh, today this is the visualization uh, that we are going to develop, the Sparkline visualization. So as you can see, it shows the profit information is in a kind of a line chart. So here we shows the May value, so sales uh, profit value, here June value and then July up to now value will be shown. So and here it will shows the uh, profit information for the July value. So the advantages of using Sparkline is let's say if you want to show it in a TV screen or somewhere around that so then we can clearly indicate like okay this July month there's a positive trend compared to the last month something that like that so we can achieve by using this Sparkline visualization so I will uh, demonstrate you how we can do that right the first thing is that you have to get the uh, Sparkline visualization here I have already taken that so for that you have to go uh, get more visualization you have to click this one and here you can type uh, sparkline so here it shows uh, sparkline by Oquiz so you can directly add that since I have already added I'll skip that part right right so now we start the development so first I add the sparkline visualization to my dashboard right then uh, there are certain values that I have to give right so you can check it uh, uh, once you have downloaded this so first thing is that for the axis that I'll give the date sales date and then uh, for the values I'll give the sales value right so now the initial step is completed so as you can see first it will looks like this so we'll see uh, by using the format uh, option how we can edit this right so now we are in the format section and we check what are the values that we need to change so first we check the category so category is on so uh, we can increase the text size a bit right uh, so as you can see the sales value uh, is being increasing so other things would be seems fine and then we can uh, select uh, value labels on and then here I want here this is the value label so I want to increase the size uh, in a kind of uh, big number so I'll increase the value a bit like this and here what I want is uh, to show the last value July month value so that is done and uh, then I want a bit of black color here so that I can add that one right so uh, other parts are okay so I keep it as it is right right so next we go to the line option right so here uh, data points uh, we can say okay ignore it and then y axis would be auto we'll keep the value as it is uh, baseline value is zero then uh, you know wait that we can increase the line weight because I want a bit of thick line here to display it in the TV so we'll wait uh, increase the weight a bit and uh, color also fine so I think we go ahead with this setup right then when it's come to area I want an area and that area that you can change the color so I set it as light blue so that's a color that I want right so that uh, uh, is there and uh, that value other values are all right 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 and the target value so we keep it as, as it is because we are not setting any target here then points wise so we want to change it so we can say show all points right so it will show every value and then highest value we want to have the uh, kind of uh, green color so the highest value so and then yeah and the lower point we set it as uh, you know red color so this color would be fine for me and then uh, current point uh, also that you can set but I'll keep it off if there's a requirement comes so I'll uh, switch on it and then title so I want to have a title so I'll come I'll add the title so what I want is to uh, last two months values so that is I want and then here you can change the font color font color I keep it as it is and then you know background color can be changed here so I'll set it as a light blue color and then uh, alignment and everything the text size everything that you can change here 
right so i'll keep it as it is uh, when it's come to title right so then uh, that would be also fine then uh, general aspects i think would be fine uh, position etc and then i have add a border and uh, sorry border and add a shadow as well right so now the first part is completed the formatting part is completed so now we have to go for the filtering part so now uh, we are in a kind of filtering state so here uh, first thing that i want when it's come to access the months so for that uh, i remove this one first and then here i select only the month value from the hierarchy so here i add the month here right so now the months values are in is been displaced january february march april uh, then uh, may june july and as you can see uh, the lowest value is may and the highest value is july when it's come to sales profit so this is uh, the, you can directly add it to the tv screen as well but here i want the last two months value right uh, for that uh, i can either you can do the filtering here manually you can select the data from here so you can select may june july something like that otherwise what you can do is you can add the sales data here as the uh, another uh, filtering source and here you can uh, get uh, relative uh, date uh, filtering and here you can say in the uh, in the last uh, here you can say to months so include in today so if you apply the filter as you can see now the date range would be march to uh, july so here if you go so it will show the may value and then june july value so if you you can set the relative uh, value relative months uh, relative months as well so here if you see a calendar month so then it will display only two months may and uh, june so as you can see you can uh, check the date range here so now uh, we can directly add this to the tv right so this is how we can use the sparkline visualization in power bi so there are many options so you can check it uh, once you do the tutorial and thank you for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel for more power bi videos and keep in touch thank you